Hey, what's up guys? This is the base, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Pixel Experience ROM in OnePlus 7. So, before proceed, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe us and also the bell icon to get notified about all of future videos. Now, in this video, first of all, I'll go to review the ROM, then I'm going to show you the installation method. So, now let's talk about this Pixel Experience ROM. By the way, I was waiting for this ROM since very long, and finally, we have this ROM for the OnePlus 7. So, now this is the first look of this ROM. Well, this is a Pixel Experience ROM, so uh, this ROM doesn't have any Bloodware apps in it and if you want uh, you can install the google camera separately but this rom comes with the oneplus camera pre install and if you want you can flash google camera separately and i'll put all the required links in the description so make sure to check it out now before proceed let me tell you if you want to enable 960 fps in oneplus 7 or 7 pro then you can watch my video about that i have already uploaded that video and i'll put that link in the description so do check it out so this ROM comes with Pixel Launcher and here in Pixel Launcher itself you will get some wallpaper related to Android 10. You can directly set up this wallpaper uh, at your home screen. You no need to download wallpaper separately. And apart from that, if you talk about this is your notification panel, which is very strong, just like Pixel devices. And apart from that, if you want to talk about settings and customization, well, this is very stock ROM. So you're not going to have lots of customization like other ROMs like Resurrection Remix or Lineage OS or anything else so you will not have gonna have a uh, much of customization here but if you install pixel experience plus rom we'll get some customization and some plus addition with it so i'll recommend you to flash pixel experience plus rom well there are not so major changes in pixel experience plus rom as compared to nor pixel experience normal rom anyway you'll gonna have some extra features in pixel experience plus rom now, if you want to know what kind of extra things you can have in Pixel Experience Plus ROM, just let me know in the comment box. I'll create an article for that in my website. Well, I haven't noticed any bugs in this ROM. Everything is working fine. Face unlock is also working, but if you want to unlock your screen by using face recognition, you have to swipe up the screen. Only then your device will get unlocked. Well, I just want to press the power button to unlock my device. Fingerprint is not working here because I'm coming from Open Beta 14 and if you are coming from Open Beta 14 then your fingerprint might not work and uh, if you are coming from some other uh, version of Oxygen OS like Open Beta 13 or any other version your fingerprint should work. In my case it is not working so I'll recommend you to flash any other Oxygen OS ROM before flashing this ROM. Now let's talk about installation part of this ROM. The installation method of this ROM is little bit different from the other ROMs. So watch this video till end. Don't miss anything. Now here you can see that uh, currently I'm running on Open Beta 14 and device I'm using is OnePlus 7, which is running on Android 10. And if you are running on same, you can follow the same method. And if you are running on some other version, you can still follow the same method. Uh, now first thing you need to do, you need to shut down your device. Then you have to press the power button and volume up and volume down button together and hold it for a second and your device will be boot into fast boot mode. Now connect your mobile with your PC by using USB cable and leave your device connected to your PC. Now go to your PC and download all this file. Well, you have to download one more file. Uh, I'll show that file later in this video. For now, just download all this file. I'll put all this file in the description of a uh, video. Here you can see the ROM I'm going to flash is Pixel Experience Plus ROM. You can also install the Pixel Experience Normal ROM. The method will remain same. The first thing you need to do, you need to do, uh, you need to install Adobe Driver on your PC. Uh, just double click on this Adobe Setup EXE and type Y for yes and keep continue. And once you install the Adobe Driver, I'm not going to install it again because I have already installed. So once you have installed the Adobe Driver on your system, next thing you have to extract the Platform Tools folder. So if you have WinRAR on your PC, you will get this option extract here. Just click on this extract here option and you will have this folder called platform tools. Now inside this platform tools folder, you will gonna have all these files. Now first of all, you have to unlock the bootloader of your device. If your bootloader is not unlocked, you have to unlock it first. And to unlock bootloader, just go to this platform tools folder and then go to address bar, then type CMD and hit enter. Well, you will open a command prompt in the same directory where all these platform tools files are. Then type fastboot space devices. If you get some random string followed by fastboot, it means your device is connected successfully. Uh, then you can type fastboot space oem space device info and here you can check whether your device is unlocked or not. Here you can see that 
device critical unlock equal to false in my case which means my device bootloader is already unlocked but in case if you are not unlocked you can type fastboot space oem space unlock to unlock the bootloader of your device uh, and here you can see that my device bootloader is already unlocked so that's why this command get fail but in your case but in your case your mobile will be rebooted and uh, all the data from your mobile gonna wipe including your internal storage photos and everything so make sure you already have the backup of all your important data so once you unlock the bootloader of your device you need to again boot your device into fast boot mode and connect your device to pc so once you have again your device in fast boot mode just copy this twrp file in the platform tool folder now if you want you can just rename this twrp file to something else anything you want uh, for the convenience, I'm just gonna type the twrp.img. Make sure there is img extension at the end. If you are unable to see this extension, you can go to view and enable the file name extension. Now again, open the command prompt in the same directory where your platform tools folder is, and then here you have to type fastboot space boot space twrpname.img. So once you type this command, just hit enter, your mobile will boot into TWRP recovery. So once your mobile in TWRP recovery, it may ask you to enter your device password. So just enter your password to decrypt all the data from your device. So once you done that, you will be in TWRP recovery. Then go to wipe, then go to format data and type yes. And then just click this right button over here in your keyboard. And it will format everything from your device. Make sure you already have the backup of all your important data. So once you've done that, again go to back to home menu. Now uh, you have to again go to wipe. Now go to advanced wipe. Now select data. Then click on re uh, repair or change file system. Now before proceed, make sure what is your current file system. Here you can see that current file system of OnePlus 7 is ext4. Now for this pixel experience room, you have to change the file system of your device. And whenever you want to come back to your stock room, you need to again change your file system of your device. Uh, so suppose you want to come back to stock room, then again you have to set your file system as ext4. Now for now, you have to just click on change file system button here. And now here you have to select F2FS and just select this F2FS option and change your file system. Make sure whenever you want to come back to stock room, you have to select all the same option and then you have to change your file system to ext4. Now for now, we are going to select F2FS file system. Just swipe this button and change your file system. So once you've done that, you may need to reboot your device into TWRP recovery. So what I suggest to you, just uh, click on this home button, then go to reboot. Then click on bootloader. So this option will boot your device again into fast boot port. Then again, you have to type same command in uh, your command port. Just type fastboot as well boot space twrp.img. It will again boot your device into twrp recovery. So you need to repeat this process. So once you again in twrp recovery, now you can flash your ROM. Now before proceed, you need to download one more file, which is OnePlus uh, Oxygen OS stock ROM. Uh, make sure you download Android 10 ROM. You can go for the open beta ROMs or you can also go for the stable ROMs. Just don't try op Oxygen OS open beta 14 ROM because in open beta 14, my fingerprint is not working. Uh, well, this is uh, Oxygen OS open beta 14 file, but in your case, you can download any other Oxygen OS stock ROM. Uh, so now here you have to select all these four files, Magisk, uh, OnePlus OS stock ROM, Pixel Experience ROM and TWRP recovery. Just select all this file and just copy all this file into your internal storage. You can access the internal storage of your mobile while your mobile connected in TWRP recovery with your computer. So once you copy paste all these files, now you can remove this USB cable. Now the first thing you need to do, you need to click on install. Then here you have to select Oxygen OS stock ROM. Uh, remember, you can download any Oxygen OS Android 10 ROM for the OnePlus 7, any ROM. Except Open Beta 14, because in Open Beta 14, my fingerprint was not working. 
So first of all, you have to select your stock ROM, then swipe this button left to right and install stock ROM on your device. So once you have installed the stock ROM in your device, then again go back to home menu of TWRP recovery, then go to install. Now you can select the pixel experience ROM. Just select your pixel experience ROM, then swipe this button left to right. And uh, once this ROM is installed, if you want, you can install the TWRP recovery or if you want, you can reboot your device and install Magis also. Well, I just want to install TWRP recovery. So once it's done, now if you want, you can just reboot your device. But if you want to install TWRP recovery, go back to home menu, then click on install, then select TWRP recovery, then swap this button left to right and install TWRP recovery on your device. And once TWRP recovery is installed, you need to reboot your device. And if you want to install Magis, you can again boot your device into TWRP recovery and select Magis and install Magis manager on your device. Now the first reboot of your device may take a little longer, like three to five minutes. So wait until your device restarted. So guys, that's it for the Pixel Experience ROM. And if you haven't watched my other OnePlus videos, you can go to link in the description and check out my OnePlus 7 playlist. So guys, that's it for this video. If you like the video, just subscribe our channel and you can also like the video. And if you have any doubt or any suggestion, you can comment down below. And if you haven't followed us on our social media, then you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook from the link in the description. So guys, this is the page. Sign out. Meet you soon in next video.